Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Star Trek FTL with the USS Enterprise piloted by USS Voyager crew. So we're going to go back to using our overpowered phaser blaster things because they're just awesome. And maybe we start using the to photon torpedoes soon. We could also just do boarding parties. I mean, we have tons of tons of boarders. I think phasers are just so powerful. They're so overpowered. It's like having halberd beams or something. I mean, that's how strong they are, because they, they do two damage per room, plus they pierce one shield. It's like three damage per room. So good. It's definitely the weak spot in these ships. X marks the spot. Kim's about to get better. 10% faster on 13 seconds. It's going to shave off 1.3. Pretty good. Nah. Oh my god, I took out four rooms! Glorious! But the weapon I really want to use is this thing, the spatial charges. Let's, uh... Because it doesn't actually take missiles. Let's totally... we're, we're gonna do that. I want to upgrade weapon control just so we can actually have the spatial charges and a phaser array. Just in case. You know, in case you actually need the phaser blast. Alright, let's try it. I'm going to do the... Not enough power. Oh, right. Activate the spatial charges. And uh, let's not use the phaser yet. Eight second cooldown. It's pretty quick. Spatial charge. Go. Breach it. Breach! It's like a 100% chance to breach it. Oh, he just took it down. Damn. Well, I guess we just have to go back to regular phasers then. Damn, spatial charges. It's cool. I mean, he's got no oxygen in that room now. So if we just keep on spatial... Yeah, let's just do it. I want to I wanna do it. Let's just keep breaching the oxygen room. I can't imagine. Like, eventually the strategy will always win, right? The problem is they'll keep shooting at me. So we'll just take out the weapons and then we're just going to breach it. That is so cool. And the oxygen is still functioning though, so let's let's blast it again. Take the oxygen down. <laughs> Put a breach in the med bay. <laughs> I love it. Drain the oxygen. Get him. I love how it just goes through all shields. It just says makes breach. <laughs> They don't want to go into the oxygen room because they, they, can't, they can't fix two breaches in time. I love it! They're gonna die! Yes! What a slow way to do it. It's the same thing as, as actually boarding them because you're not actually taking the ship down. I want to get two of these things and just, just blow the crap out of people. It'd be so cool. It's a lot slower though. But it's fun. Um, yeah, let's just blast this one. Besides, if we can get... Oh, Kim actually did level up. Cool. See, that's significantly faster. Gained a quest marker. But still, two of those things would be awesome. Uh, you encounter a small craft with minimal propulsion. This rock crew explains that the rock homeworlds is run on lies and propaganda that keeps the populace in check. 
uh, improved sensors to show them to our data suite. The rock captain is impressed by the data you've collected and agrees to stay with you until they find their footing in the galaxy. Do we want to gain a rock crew and kick someone off? We could probably afford to get rid of one of those extra humans. Like Charlie. Charlie never really got any good at fighting. Because we got the two Mantis. We got Charlie. And Chakotay. Can't get rid of Chakotay because he's a guy. We'll get rid of Charlie. And Olafsson. We'll keep him. We just get a little bit more of a diverse crew that way. Gives us more options for event dialogues. Oh, boarding party. I don't really want Janeway to fight. Let's just let the Mantis do their job. And we'll blast that sweet spot on this ship because it's weak here. This guy's actually pretty good at combat. I guess Janeway does get to have a go. Maybe we can get these guys on deck. They want to give us a, a Borg Interceptor. Sure. Except we're still going to fight, apparently. Even though they've surrendered. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll kill your crew. Whatever you say, boss. Okay, Janeway's back. You're back. You two can get out of there. Chakotay's ready. Olafsson's good. Let's go check out that weapon. It's a Borg Interceptor. Slow assault shuttle that fires a powerful plasma projectile projectile with great shield piercing capabilities. We should try that. Okay. Uh, looks like we're ready to go to the next sector. Continue. Sell missiles. Yes, please. I always have too many missiles. I never use them. Let's go to the rock controlled sector. Just getting started. Apparently I got an achievement. Yay. Ship unlocked. Borg collected. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! I got the Borg! Ah, oh, you've unlocked the... Oh, the, the, okay, so the Borg or the NG. That makes sense. I got the Borg! That's all I care about. The Borg is so cool. Let's go to the store. I don't care if it's basically just the NG. I, it's the Borg! No, oh, these are all boring. Just fix the ship. Um, these things are all so valuable. Heck, even the phaser arrays are worth 57. Okay, I'm um, going to upgrade sensors. Uh, let's uh, um, upgrade this uh, med bay stuff and oxygen because there's some really cool stuff that happens if you actually upgrade these. Most people never upgrade them because they're kind of secondary. But um, if you have them at level 3, some really cool stuff can happen. So we'll do that. We're going to go check out that quest. We have level three, level 2 shields, so we should be fine in the asteroid field. Let's try out the new drone. Need some power. The interceptor. Look at it, it's a Borg ship! Fire! Wow. It missed! How did the Borg miss? Okay. Had just about enough of this ship. It's different. It's cool. It tends to miss a lot, but it does do two damage. Seems to pierce shields. Fires pretty slowly, though. That's cool. I like it. Let's head to the distress beacon. Or not distress, sorry, the quest beacon. Uh, after a quick search, you discover the Hidden Federation space dock. They offer you some supplies. Not exactly the biggest deal. Don't really matter too much. I feel like it's about time to go up level 3 shields. Ah, uh, yeah, let's attack the surviving mantis. Hey, they're going to board us. That's funny. Seems like a good little spot to shoot. Guess what? We have Mantis too. 
Their mantis seem to be a little bit stronger than mine, though. Good thing that they attacked right next to the medbay. Round two, fight! You're not gonna have a ship to teleport home to. <laughs> you know, we've got their weapons pretty well down. Maybe we should switch it up, use the, the JS, whatever it's called. Take out the oxygen or the, uh, where do we want to put a breach? They don't have a med bay. Should put a breach in the weapon room. All they have is a bomb of some sort that's still operational. I could just teleport over. Where's the fun in that? Oh, gotta turn that off. Ion bomb. I really like the idea of this weapon. Take out the cockpit so they can't do that anymore. Gotta wait for the oxygen to drain on the ship. That's what takes so long. That or just put breaches in the rooms that they're trying to work in. There we go. I love it! It's so fun! <laughs> Victory through asphyxiation, yes! <laughs> I love it, it's so fun! Okay, I'm so sadistic sometimes. I'm sorry, I apologize. I want two of these things! Alright, let's just go with uh, the regular phasers on this. Could just teleport over there, though. I think a big open rooms be easy to fight in. I definitely should power up the weapons though. We could have this thing going with the two phasers. That would be pretty powerful. Fires and missiles! Nope. I should definitely go up to level 3 shields. Let's get to that point where you need to do it. Oh, Kim could use some healing. Okay. If we don't see a store soon, then I'm just going to upgrade to level 3 shields. And maybe go up a little bit more in weapons so we can maybe use... Ooh, an anti-ship beam drone. That's kind of okay. It's just a regular old vanilla drone. But still, it's, you know, it's a drone. These rock ships aren't much of a challenge, really. Doom. Nice! Good job, Paris. Paris is getting good at dodging stuff. Evasion plus 10. Isn't it? I thought it used to be plus 5 and plus 7. Maybe they upgraded it? That would be really cool if they like... Yeah, evasion plus 10 and I, I could swear it was 5 and 7. So we're actually getting quite a bit of evasion now, especially with only level 4. We could go even higher and actually maybe get that dodge up to a sick, sick number. Hey, there's a store. That's what I was hoping for. No. I guess we just get rid of the beam drone because it's dumb. And, uh... You know, we've tried these drones out, and I'm not going to use them again, so let's just sell them. Um, we've used this. We haven't used the quantum torpedoes, or the photon torpedoes. We haven't used the disruptor beam. We'll keep all that. 
now we have tons of money we can spend on stuff. So let's go with, um... Ooh, look at all that. You can even go beyond 8 power. Sweet. So I could go 4 higher. Let's see. Right now we have 5. So... I would need 2 more to get this thing going with this. Sounds very reasonable. And on top of that, let's do 2 more shields. Oh yeah! Bam! Now that is a stupendously strong lineup. Cool! I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you soon.